Uh, this is a young American bully pup that uh, comes to us for one-to-one -one training um, and they are looking at going through the whole process but for us it's all about body and mind um, you know a lot of places will just do protection 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 and I believe that this is very unhealthy for the uh, mental stability of the dog they must also have fun um, you know uh, to take away the pressure constant pressure step up for At an early age, um, we want to teach the dog and encourage the dog to bark a lot. Um, this is very important in our program, warning, intimidation, um, the vocals. Um, you know, the bite is secondary, it's not primary for us in most instances. Um, and, you know, people do will hide in wheelie bins and tuck under the car and stuff like that. And what we want the canine to learn to do is go to that particular area, harass that individual, keep barking at the individual until the police can get there. Wanting the dog to win and willing the dog to win is so important and the right equipment. Um, you know, for young dogs like this, I believe, you know, working them in protection, definitely it must not be on a flat collar. It must, have, must be on a harness. Um, we don't want to send conflicting information to them. The collar around the neck, we use that for correction and compliance at this time. We will migrate to that, but at the moment we want to work on the harness and there's no restriction on the breathing and the dog has every chance to bark clearly and that is so so important uh, how those stages are developed <coughs> 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 <coughs>